YouTube, I spent hours inside of the firing range coming up with the best MP5 loadout for Warzone 2, so you don't have to. So by the end of this video, you're going to have the best Lockman sub to be using in Warzone 2 right now. So for the attachments for the Lockman sub, what we're going to put on first is we're going to go over the attachments, and then I'm going to go back and show you guys how to tune the gun. For the muzzle, we're going to put on the Syngard MKV. For the barrel, it's going to be the FTAC M sub 12 inch. For the under barrel, it's going to be the FTAC Tiger Grip. For the laser, it's going to be the Q Shot 5 milliwatt laser. And then the 50 round drum. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tuning for the muzzle. So for the tuning, we're going to click on it. Recoil smoothness is going to be all the way up. And then aiming idle stability with bullet velocity is going to be at 0.55. We also want to keep that aiming uh, aiming idle stability while we're working on the bullet velocity as well. Then we're going to go back. We're going to take a look at the barrel tuning. We want recoil uh, steadiness and aim walking speed to be at 0.55. Two, three. Damage range and aim down sight, we're going to put at 0.28 so we can keep both aim down sight uh, speed and the damage range. And then the Q shot, there is no tuning for that as well. You could definitely change the 50 round magazine to the 40 round magazine if you want just a little bit more mobility. But the 50 round magazine having the extra 10 bullets definitely does help in El Masra. Let's go ahead and take a look at it inside the firing range. And then boom, boom, boom. I mean, this gun is just so good, dude. YouTube, if you took anything from this video today and you do like this MP5 class, please leave a like on this video. And again, don't forget to comment what SMGs you're using. If we get 15 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and release the top five SMGs in El Masra right now. I love y'all. I'll see you again soon and peace.